Oh, I just saw something. I was reading the news post and apparently there's a 50% implant drop going on right now. Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today we're going to be doing some of the new Gorista's Hunt sites. Uh, this is an event that usually occurs during the Easter time and it is one of my favorite events or at least the one they had uh, a long time ago. I think it was 2018, yeah? The Easter 2018, that was my absolute favorite event because it gave so good loot and it was just interesting because there were quite a few sites and there were in fact many of the people who went wanted and uh, tried to attack people in these sites or not attack but get attacked and they have battles in these pvp sites or like create a pvp uh, battle uh, i was not the one to participate in them but i uh, or went out specifically to participate in them but i did in fact get caught once because what happened was I was a very long time ago, so this was over two years ago, so I was not as experienced as I was now. And I had a gila, just a basic gila, and I was doing the sites because they were quite easy to do. You could do them in the gila. And then there was this nightmare there, and this nightmare was on purpose attacking MTUs and wrecks to be able to uh, like do the site and uh, get the wanted status so that people could attack them. So they did this, right? Oh, wait, what's this? I can't go in here. Oh, I have to use a particular ship here. I can use an assault frigate. Let's go with the let's go with the uh, Avengers. That'll be quite cool. <laughs> Look, all these people are going in gilas. Okay, but I was in a, uh, <laughs> a gila, and I, this nightmare went criminal or not criminal. I think it's called wanted because there's a difference between cr criminal and wanted. I think criminal is when they become like kill pods or attack in high sec. This guy was just like the yellow flashy. So I thought that, okay, this guy is, yeah, is a nightmare. He's going to kill me very easily. But then I saw a Gnosis, and I think it was another battleship nearby. They started attacking this uh, nightmare. So I thought, oh, yeah, we're going to kill him really easily because we'll just dunk him really easily. Because before, uh, like a few sites before, uh, someone did a similar thing. A rattlesnake went yellow uh, and or like went criminal the same way. And uh, there were people who were ganged up on this uh, rattlesnake. And I also joined in and we managed to kill him. So that was good. So then I thought, okay, we're going to kill this nightmare really easily. But it was all a big trap. It was all a big trap. What this guy did was those two people, they were in fact friends with that guy. Because I had seen, I s continued to see these this Gnosis and this battleship. They were with this guy uh, in multiple sites, the same sites. Because they were friends with him. They were making so that when this uh, nightmare went yellow, or uh, like criminal, uh, suspect I think is what it's called. Then uh, they just like they start attacking to make you bait you into attacking the uh the nightmare and then as soon as you start attacking when the nightmare has got hold of you then that is when the nightmare strikes and their friends then they just piss off they just l l warp off and then you're stuck there 1v1ing a nightmare and this was a super blinged nightmare like i think the guy had like really good implants and definitely had really good uh, modules because i saw on zekiel they lost one of them uh one of their nightmares i think at one point and they had like an x type a type everything really to the to the max this is just a vengeance fit i put a lot of together a long time ago for abyssal dead space which could p potentially work here one thing i just have to change though is i don't want to use these mule neo rockets i want to use the scourge ones because garistas have the lowest damage type in the kinetic department so i basically was stuck there with the nightmare and i got wrecked i got absolutely wrecked like the little scrub i was but that's just the thing you learn you learn new things but it was pretty uh, it was pretty cool how this guy really uh just uh, it was very sneaky i had the uh, friends or i don't even know if it's his friend it could be just his alts you know and it just has it make it so that it feels like, oh, we're going to have an easy fight. But in actuality, it was all just a bait the me to attack, you know. The the Vengeance is just a really cool ship in general. I like it because I just think it, it looks really good. I like these color scheme. And it is, uh, it's a very tanky ship. So let's see now, uh, Hunt Vengeance, something like that. We'll go like that. And then uh, we'll put these Scourge rockets in. So we've got these Scourge rockets right here. I'll remove the mule near first. 10,000 of these guys, 10,000 of these guys. So that was a bit of a drama that I had from these uh, sites. It was pretty, it's just, generally speaking, it was just pretty fun how they're just able to bait me so hard. But that's not the case. We'll, let's, you know what? Let's just go all that. Let's put some A type repers right here. We're going to go a little bit blingy right here. Small armor repair with the potential of getting ganked, but these ones are very cheap. Corelli A type right here. Two of these. 
then when it came to the oh we don't have enough power right here go with a thucker small cat battery i think that'll be a possibility a little bit expensive right now but um oh we got an a type as well <laughs> i know i want a little bit bling here i didn't expect that i thought i had put a standard tech one variant on the on the benches okay we'll put then the end of thucker small cat battery dual a type so that we'll be very tanky we won't be able to die here so that's good let's go let's go let's go and wreck some gristers the hunt uh, the the uh, Gristus Hunt of 2019, it wasn't as interesting as the one before, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. But the one in 2018 was much better. Because what they did was they made it so it's only available to, like, frigates. I think it's the same way it's now. It's, like, only available to frigates and destroyers. And while that's a cool concept, I think, that it's available to the small ships, it, I didn't find as good loot. But maybe we will find some good loot here. Uh, but I, generally speaking, it's quite interesting, though, that... You know, events, they usually involve just getting your biggest, baddest battleship and go and wreck, beat the crap out of these NPCs. But and I could do with this event, it's quite unique in that you have to use a frigate, you know. Uh, let's go in here and wreck some guys. How's our range on the Scourge Rage rocket? 8,000 meters, okay. Let's get in here. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, it looks exactly the same as the one in 2019. The one in 2020, I don't even think they had one in 2020. Or at least I didn't bother with it. Okay, so there's nothing here. It seems like let's go to the next room, maybe. There are different objectives you can do here in this event right here. So you can, oh, you can even claim a reward. Enter the Gristus secure storage site. Is this the secure storage site? Maybe. We'll see. Use our afterburner. Oh, uh, MWD. What am I doing? Let's get in here. If, if you wanted to be really tanky, you could probably use something like a command destroyer. Oh, okay, we need this acceleration gate key. Because you get this key by unlocking the, in a few days, you'll see here. Daily login campaigns, you can see you can get this key right here. Oh, I got a contract accepted. That was for a blueprint, I think, for a Drekker like I got at one point. Hmm, okay, I can't do anything here. Let's go to the next one. Let's see if there's anything here. This is weird. Why are they making sort of the acceleration key? You get it at the, only after a few days of the event. Maybe you can get it from a drop or something. But uh, this is a. Uh, this doesn't seem that nice that you have to wait two days until you can do the second part of this event. I guess maybe they want to make so it's like a bit of progression, but it seems like all of these are getting done, I think. Yeah, look, everything's done here. Everything's done here. You can't even do these events. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's something. There's also an exploration variant, it seems, that you scan down. Okay, let's keep going and see if we can find some sites then. This is a very annoying. I can't even do that. I guess it'll be at least a quick journey just because of how we're using a very uh, fast ship. Look at our EHP with a Zolt damage control on 23k. Very beastly right here. Oh, you can see these on the probe scan. That's really cool. Okay, there's one in Ikora over here. Let's go. I think we've got, to be honest, with our vengeance, we've got a cruiser level tank here. Because he has 64 HP per second, which I mean, it's not a crazy amount, but it's also not a little either. And then with these resistances, we've got pretty sick resistances. You see here with, uh, if we turn off this, there we go. You see, you've got pretty good resistances. And this thing will ramp up over time. It'll get more and more resistances. So that'll be really good. And there's always this panic module right here in case stuff will, bad stuff will happen. Let's go here. Will we be able to do a site maybe? Hunt outpost. Okay. There's not so many people here either. That's good. This is one thing that's nice about it being a frigate uh, site only is that, or not frigates, I also destroy because you saw that it could have command destroyer sites as well. But the, it seems like you'll have an easy time flying around finding them. But then again, if it's easy time flying around finding them, it'll also be that the case for other people as well. So I don't know, maybe they'll be done a lot quicker as well. Drive Let's see now, are there people here? Directional scan, heron nearby. Oh, this is just a heron. Okay, there's nothing here then. But I wonder if these are just going to be sites that are just going to be sitting here because no one is going to be doing the next thing because they've not done the... They've not used that key card. I don't know. Okay, they are. Okay, good, good, good. Now we're going to have a little bit of a battle. Let's go to battle! Vengeance. Activate MWD. Just go and brawl these guys. Get him. I wonder if you can use a tactical destroyer. Tactical destroyers would maybe be cool. Because they would have more DPS, I think. And just generally speaking, I think they're pretty good for this kind of content. Let's go. They have obviously got every e war possible. Web, Scram, Newt. Just everything possible. Add, can we add more. I'm not even getting through my shield. The, the good thing, though, is the DPS doesn't at all seem to be high. I mean, they're not even getting through my uh, my shields. Let's see, what is our null range or void range? Okay, we should put null right here. 
MWD, I think, will be a good idea. Now we're going to start shooting with the null. <laughs> a worm. We've got a worm going on here. I wonder, so let's see if we can get anything from these wrecks over here. Maybe they could have one of those key cards, you know? Let's see. A destroyer, cormorant, a worm. Hmm. Let's see if these guys drop anything. Also, is there resistance to smallest type in the kinetic one? No, it's EM, actually. Let's see if there's anything, like those key cards, maybe they drop from here or something like that. Let's see that. Okay, no, nah, not here. What about here? Let's see if they drop from here. No, nothing from here. What is this? How am I supposed to do this? Acceleration gate is inactive. Oh, okay, I guess there's... Yeah, look here, there's more people coming in. Let's see now. Maybe there's a boss, the last one, that drops one of them or something. Let's see about that. Yeah, no, I think it's better because of the increased range we've got going on right here. Because it be a hard time to hit everything. Even though we're brawling really fast, really close, I mean. It's still going to be pretty difficult to kill anything. with, Or at least use our blasters. Let's approach. Come on, approach. Approach! There we go. Hmm, so I think it was a bad idea where they weren't kinetic. Because these guys have got the main... They have to be... Their main tank type is the shields, and the shields have the lowest in the EM. So probably it would have been better that we just go with the EM, which I was going to go with from the beginning. But there we go. They always just want to spice it up. They're not making it predictable in these events. They're not the same as typical Gristas you would find. Okay, well, this guy is going to get him. Oh, what are the nukes going to do? We've got two cam batteries, and we're even cap stable with our MWD on. With our MWD off, oh, what are they going to do then? Let's wreck this guy, give him some rockets to the face. Worm, what do you like about, what do you think about rockets? What do you think about rockets, Worm? Oh, he's trying to kite me like a little scrub. Look at him, look at him running around. Like the little scrub he is. Why are my rockets not hitting though? Because he is in range. Maybe he's like moving to the side, so he's kind of like making the rockets have to travel a little bit further distance or something, I don't know. There we go, wreck him, good. I'm using a way to like, overkill ship for this. It feels like you would get away with a basic tech one destroyer, even tech one frigate, like a punisher or something like that would be probably... Yeah, in fact, a punisher probably would be really good because a punisher does EM damage, so you'll kill them very quickly. And you can have a decent tank and DPS on the punisher. Generally speaking, the punisher is a pretty good PvE boat because it doesn't have so many mids, only two mids. So it's in PvP combat, it's very bad, or generally speaking, not known for being a very good solo platform at least. Due to not having it, being able to have much utility, like you can either have a prop mod or a web or prop mod or, or scrams, like you can either pick one, you can't pick everything like many other ships can. For example, the Vengeance, which has three mids. Yeah, it has three mids, right? Yeah, but here in this case, where we're against these NPCs, we don't need to have a scram or anything like that. We just need to be able to kill them. So I think the opponent would do very good for you. Yeah, maybe we could try that next. Could see if there's maybe some alpha fits or something. A lot of you guys tell me that uh, alpha clones that oh give me an alpha fit I need alpha fit. Okay, let's kill this guy. Good, good. Yeah, yeah I think it will do very well. A punish just the EM damage will hit them hard. Like look at their kinetic. They've got a lot of kinetic resistance, but tiny EM resistance. So it'll melt very quickly. You could put some pulse lasers. You could wreck them very quickly. But I wonder what kind of boss here, what will be called, because the previous bosses of the previous, the event of 2018, it was like, it was called like Gurihiva or something, they had like this name Gurihiva, they also dropped these ballistic control systems, Gurihiva, no, or Hiva, here, Gurihiva, this one right here, these ones, look how, these are expensive, but they go for like 300 mil, something like that, okay, let's wreck this worm over here, wormy, wormy. Look at this wormy with newts and everything. No match for the the mighty vengeance. So, okay, this is interesting. They've got their main damage type in the thermal department. That's not typical for Gristas either, because Gristas they usually have kinetic damage and just a tiny bit of thermal damage. But here they're basically exclusively doing thermal damage. Let's see. What is our resistance? We've got pretty high thermal resistance now just because of that. That's interesting. That's interesting. So that we basically we want to tank thermal and we want to deal EM. So I think that'll be very good for Punisher. Okay, have we finished the site now, maybe? Let's go and grab some of the Rex, see if there's anything interesting in here. Rex, give me your key card. Nothing here, nothing here. Okay, there's more NPCs, there's more NPCs. There must be a boss that they will throw in here. Yeah, look, there's a Caracal now, Cruisers now. Okay, so this is interesting. Putting a Cruiser against a Lone Frigate. A Lone Frigate. Let's get him. Let's go in. Let's go in. Real fast. It's Kestrel right here. What does he think he's going to do? Oh, well, maybe we're going too fast now because 
I'm not even able to get close to this guy. He's he's going very fast himself. 1.4k a second. Maybe a little bit too fast. Okay, there we go. He got slapped. He got splatted. Kestrel got splat. Oh, Kondo, what do you think you're going to do, man? What do you think you're going to do? <laughs> okay, let's go for this Korax over here. So it seems like you definitely need a lot of capacitor, at least. Definitely a lot of capacitor. Because you can see here, without the MWD on, I'm getting a little bit of a low capacitor. It's like so almost my max regen, which is at 33%, I think, or 25%, something like that. So it definitely, that's one thing. It doesn't seem like the tank requirement is too big, though. You can, it seems like, all. Well, I mean, easy for me to say, who's got such two A-type reppers with a, in a Vengeance, which is a classically known for being a very tanky ship. But uh, I don't feel like... There seems to at all be like I feel like I could get by with just one armor repair. Let's see, can I get by with one armor repair? Because I think I will be able to. Uh, I doesn't. It feels like mainly it's nuke pressure to be honest. This here. Anything in here? Nothing even dropped from that guy. And we've got the acceleration gate going on here. Hmm. Is there no key card drop? They should drop a key card. Is there any? Come on, no, you don't let, let me in. Let me in, man. Let me in. You need a YC acceleration key. Hmm. The gatekeeper, it says. So there must be some particular gatekeeper. So we can just look at all these wrecks. Let's see if there's anything in all these wrecks. We'll be back, right back very soon. The hunt. The hunt for the key card. So I've gone through every single wreck now, and there's not a single key card. In fact, basically nothing dropped from these guys. I don't know what the heck this is. Well, there's no loot, not any loot at all, and no key card. This is just why I remember from before when they made this new new type of Garistas event with the like the small stuff like not cruisers not or not battleship really it's more meant for frigates slash destroyers it never gave anything good and I just this seems just really weird why can't I go in here like oh, it can't why would they release this doesn't make any sense there must be some way to get this key card because it wouldn't make sense they released this uh, event and then they just have this uh, having to wait two days until you can get this key card like, I don't get it gate key they're the exact same thing here too. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they do this? I'm even asking here in the events channel. It doesn't seem like people know. Let's go do a new one. See what's going on here. If you guys do know how to get the, the uh, key card, let me know. If there's a very easy way to get it, let me know in the comments below. Because I would really want to know that. <laughs> Otherwise, it just seems like, okay, wait a couple of days and you'll be able to find this key card. I wonder if you can find it in contracts. Okay, someone has got it though. Someone has got this key card right here and they put it up today. Yeah, if someone has managed to get one of these, okay, so it doesn't definitely seems like it's possible. Okay, wait, someone's saying here in the chat. Key cards are in pods you hunt down using your D scan on Celestials, probably. Oh, that makes sense, because I remember I think it was something like that before. The you you find these pods sort of things in the D scan. Yeah, I think I do remember something like this. There's something like pods or something. Let's see now. Are there any pods? Hmm. Okay. I don't think. Okay. We're not going to do this stupid, uh, this stupid, uh, site right here. Oh, never mind. I can't. I'm just scrammed to oblivion right here. But definitely it seems like it's possible to get those key cards because we saw there someone had it on contracts and they listed it up just a few minutes ago. This is definitely, there must be a way. Okay. So I'm not just completely. Wasn't just a complete derp on CCP's part. It seems like a bit of a mystery. They want us to use our brain a little bit. But it would, to me, it would make more sense that they just they would to drop here randomly, like they could drop uh, from these ships here. But I guess that would be too simple. They don't want it to be the case. So I'll reship. I'll go or not reship, but I'll go back to Jita, and I will grab some different ammo types because it seems definitely like we should go with a different ammo type. And also, it seems like we're tanking way too much. We could replace this with a damage module to get stuff going a lot better. We can go with something like this, like a quad LIF, one air armor repair, and a ballistic control system because the Corelli A type uses a lot of CPU. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then we just replace these guys. That'll be good. That'll be good. Okay, now we go back to Jita and we retreat and rearm. Okay, but is there anything here? Can we see any kind of pod or something? Oh, jump before they scram me. Come on. Warp drive active. No! <laughs> but he says D-scan on Celestials. So let's see now. If we go on my D-scan filter, and if I add then this thing to the overview, let's see now. Tab presets. Pod, maybe. No, it's not spot domain. Let's see now. Caps, maybe. 
a regular capsule. There we go. Add that here. Okay. No, we don't have anything. Someone's doing T1s to uh, Tristan. That's pretty cool. One thing we could also do is just replace this thing with a pulse laser because we'll do EM damage then, so that'll be also quite favorable. Okay, let's see now. Let's remove these missiles and we'll put the make the new fit. Okay, we'll have to put a compact one here because of CPU problem. So that'll be good. This will be good. We remove the ammo types. A little bit of a bounty tick as well for frigate ratting. That's pretty impressive. Okay, what is this? We could put a bit of conflagration and the scorch to have a little bit of extra damage. See so, now, do we see any kind of irregular capsules on the radar in the meantime? I like it how if it is like this guy is saying where you have to just use your D scan to find them, that'll be pretty, pretty cool because I don't like it that they'll have to you have to scan things down. Because I like it how you can just use one ship. You don't have to like go to like a dedicated scanning ship or anything. Mysterious teal capsule. This is what someone here, Gabba Patroet, found. Hmm. Or oh, is this considered irregular capsule? Yeah, exactly. Irregular capsule is what you want to have on your D scan filter. No irregular capsules found. Let's dock in G10 reship. You know, to be honest, I feel like if you are very fast and you're good at finding these kind of capsules, if you're very like quick here in the beginning of this event, you could just sell a bunch of these key cards in contracts and just earn quite a bit of isk because people want to get, get the, want to do the sites very quickly in the beginning, you know, or want, want to be the first to do them. Fit active ship. There we go. We got this thing. It's very tight fit right here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Don't need these Scrooge rockets. Let's go to the system that's less populated. I think Ikuchi tends to be a quite quiet system. That's why I tend to do my test server stuff. And usually it's a lot more quieter than the Jita region or the perimeter Jita, all the other adjacent systems. We've got more DPS now, but that ballistic control system. And we have also good range with this conflagration over here, which will be good because now we're using the close range ammo, like equivalent to void, but we'll be able to actually apply it because the void had way too small range. Even when we were brawling there with the NPCs before, they still were too far away. So I had to use null. This does a lot more damage than null. I think it does at least. So they're saying on celestials. If we go to celestials, let's see if there's anything here. Interesting things here. Celestials. Oh, we don't even have to warp up 100. What are we doing? Let's warp up zero. We're not in low sec. So yeah, we've got some capsules, but these are real capsules right here. Okay, let's warp up this one here. It's pretty far away. To be honest, what would probably be good is you have like a very fast frigate, maybe even an interceptor with hyperspatial velocity optimizers. Then you'll be able to like, find these really quickly. Nothing here. Tundaras. What about Tundaras? There's hypernet trash in local. There's so much hypernet garbage. I hate the hypernet stuff. Okay, let's go to the next room. Wait, let's go to Celestials. You can see here, there's a lot of planets here. Maybe there'll be something here. Any irregular capsules? Please give me some irregular capsules, please. No. Okay, let's, see. let's warp to the ones that are further than our D-scan range. Then there'll be probably high likelihood that we'd find something. <sighs> Nothing here. This is quite frustrating for an event, to be honest. It doesn't seem too fun. I like, always this. I'm just warping around like a complete headless chicken looking for these capsules which i have to go into the uh event and maybe i won't even get any good loot i mean who's who says it's a guarantee that i'll get some good loot by going through this thing i know ccp wants to make like really interactive events which is not a little bit maybe i can see why they're trying to go they don't want to make like a little bit brainless activity where you just go there shoot npcs and get loot but i mean this is um i'm not a big fan of this this doesn't seem to be too fun to be honest no, there's definitely none in gt because everyone will have found them Okay, people are selling these for now a little bit cheaper. They're even undercutting each other. Look at that. 45 million. Tempting to buy one just to check out the site, but I want to be able to go through the full experience of finding one of these. Oh, I just saw something. I was reading the news post and apparently there's a 50% implant drop going on right now. So strong recommendation right here. Do not go out in expensive implants. That would be pretty... Pretty, uh, you know, if you're going with some expensive implants and you, someone manages to pop you, you're gonna get, um, you're gonna have a bad time because there's, a, they could actually get some loots, you know, they, they would actually drop something, not just be a complete useless kill. <sighs> no capsules here. For one in, let's see. <sighs> Will we get some inert capsules or abandoned capsules? Like seriously, it can't be this hard just to find a damn site or to, to do one. What is this? I've been flying around now for like almost 20 minutes now. This is a bit, a bit silly in my opinion, a bit silly. It would be, I would have made sense to me if the first like wave that you got there without having a key card gave some like interesting loot or had an, had an interesting boss, but it didn't have anything. 
with just a bunch of crappy freighters and destroyers and one lone cruiser which melted in two seconds and then maybe you could get some even better stuff when you use the key card you know oh mysterious red capsule yes here we go here we go we've got found we found one now yes okay just when i thought i wouldn't find any i found one okay let's see go scanning all these celestials is there anyone nearby maybe no okay let's see now here no here no here no you can just use the five uh, degree one so it's like a very narrow scan so you're scanning just that thing and then hold down uh, c and then just click on one not this one here here and here what wait it's gone oh. <laughs> what is this it's gone now so much of just yoinked it the second they found it oh here it is again maybe it's this one here that i just warped to that was out of range let's see mysterious red capsule let's go take a better look on the d scan here okay, maybe do a little bit of a 180 degree thing going on here okay it's here somewhere maybe if we do a smaller one okay it's here let's see now smaller no okay maybe here no okay here maybe okay here maybe it's at the asteroid belt here somewhere here what is looking at these two planets here what is even here that i can warp to i don't see anything maybe it's uh, like a cosmic signature maybe don't tell me it's a cosmic signature maybe it's one of these customs office possibly what about the sun nah. yeah but now it's gone it's gone now drive. someone must have found a way to get it. possibly someone was scanned down maybe this cosmic signature or something and they were able to get it. Maybe it was there. I don't know. This guy is saying this is a celestial. And some people are saying that they're getting this kind of loot from the second room. Which doesn't at all seem to be particularly good. Why that 500,000 is? Like you may as well just do a couple of L4 missions and you'll get way more than that. What the heck are these refuges? Whoa. Okay, let's go to these planets over here. See if there's anything going on over here. Well, we definitely know now if we get a capsule, we'll have plenty of hunt sites. Look at all these hunt sites. These planets are just so far away. Yep, I'm not liking this event. I've been doing this for ages now. Almost like warping around for like 40 minutes, something like that. It's uh, This is not a fun experience in my opinion. And maybe some people like just warping around like a headless chicken, but I don't. Warping around like a headless chicken and then people saying that you anyway don't get pretty good loot here. Okay, this is 10 one. Someone goes, okay, that's pretty good. How about this one? Okay, this 11 one is pretty good. Maybe you could get even a better one if you're lucky. Nothing here. Oh, we've got a mysterious green capsule. Mysterious green capsule. Mysterious green capsule. Where is it though? Where is this thing? It's not a celestial. Maybe a mining. Oh, it's the asteroid belt. Go, go, go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, we can get this one capsule right here. And we've already, we've even got a scout outpost in the very same system. So that's perfect. Perfect. Now, I hope I win the race here, unless someone already grabs this before me. Got a bit of a. There we go. We got this mysterious capsule over here. Get it, MWD. Get over here. Don't need to start shooting already. Start shooting when we get a tiny bit closer. We've got a Garistus Despoala over here. Uh, we've got to destroy this. Let's grab this. Let's grab this thing. Give me a key card. Ah, there we go. Good. Uh oh. What do these Zian lancers? What do they want? I hope they don't attack me. Whoop! I don't want them to attack me. Oh, okay, good. I don't know why they would attack me, but maybe they don't like that I've got this thing here. Okay, so there we go. Finally, I found one. Like after what is it, 40, 50 minutes of playing? <laughs> I've uh, 40 minutes. I've found one. Let's see if the site is worth it. Let's go. Let's do this site. Let's get in here and do the site. We'll kill them a lot faster now because we've got the EM damage going on. It'll be really nice. Yeah, and it's a fresh site as well. Look, there's no one here. Mm-hmm. Let's crush these guys. Yeah, look, he just shields. Just getting one tapped almost. Look at this guy fall. We go and killing these destroyers as well like nothing. But it'll be really good if I get a C3-X Gurihiva Saitsuo Ballistic Control System. This thing right here, look at the price. I mean, 200 mil. If I manage to get this, that'll be so great. Because you got this from the, the first event in 2018. It'll be so nice if we can get it again. I got Garm over here. It's alright. I don't think he's got a keycard, probably. Seems like it's pretty unlikely that someone has a keycard. 
He's got light missiles though. That Garma could probably be an interesting th thing fit for this uh, site because I don't know how far. I didn't see. Maybe they were, they were going like 1.5k a second or something like that. So it should be a, a very easy time for the Garma to kite stuff because you can e quite easily, I think, get 4,000 meters a second with the Garma. So you'll be able to just run around, kite, and just shoot your light missiles with the EM damage. That would be pretty cool, I think. But I feel like this is a bit more safe because I think if you if they do catch you in a Garma, you're going to get pretty wrecked. In fact, let's see them if they do catch him. Let's approach this Garma. Let's see if they can catch him. Because I feel like they will wreck the Garma. Oh no, the, the, to be honest though, even if the Garma does get held down like this, he's going to kill them so fast. He's going to kill them so fast. Let's see now. Will the Garma die? Will the Garma die? I wonder if the Garma will die. He's wrecking them pretty hard. Look at that. He's, he's wrecking them. And they're not even focusing on him. They're all focusing on me. Bit interesting to see if this Garma, blow, uh, Garma blows up right in my face. There we go. Okay. Kill this guy. Get a little bit closer. Popped. Is this guy taking damage? Nah, he's doing really good. So I guess the DPS is not at all high because if a Garma can tank it, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, he wasn't taking a whole lot of damage aggro though. But I don't feel like the it's pretty threatening damage here. And that's nice because you don't want to have new players coming here with their punishes and just getting wrecked straight away okay there we go imagine if one of these random wrecked uh, npcs here could drop a gurihiva uh, ballistic control system i don't think they can but like in events i've noticed you can sometimes get a cerebral accelerator or some kind of good drop even from the um, basic npcs i guess if you live in a pretty remote region of space this shouldn't be too bad because you'll have an easy time to find those inert capsules or those irregular capsules you'll probably because i can imagine the reason why I'm, i had a hard time finding him is just because there you know we're relatively close to gita a lot of people live here so there's probably a lot of people going to go out around spread out around the gita region trying to find you know these capsules i wonder if the color means anything right, we found a green one right there maybe the green means that it's an asteroid belt because i've seen someone that's also posted about a teal one that is also the red one i saw before maybe the red one is a cosmic signature or something i don't know i don't know or maybe it just completely doesn't mean anything it's just a reference to the you know the easter eggs or whatever okay let's approach this guy will we finish the site now there's a lot of npcs we have to get through here it would have been a lot nicer actually if i had some more long range kind of weaponry going on because i have to always spend a lot of time approaching them okay there we go so gate is unlocked Let, let's go and do the boss site and is it consumed yeah it's consumed so it's only a one-time thing i wonder if someone would buy it for 45 million it would actually be worth it Garista's automated VHF08. What is this? Wait, the guy also had it? No. No, he's also got. Oh, I'm gonna have to overheat here. He also had a key card. Don't tell me we wasted my time here. Let's overheat this stuff because we need to kill this guy fast. Yeah, I got it. Yay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, what do we get here? Okay, we got it before he did. Okay, good. Let's see now. Let's go to Joe Observatory. Okay. Oh, 17 million. So that's pretty good, especially if you are, say you were in a basic Punisher. Like, assume you are like, I don't know if a Punisher could run this, but I think a Punisher should be able to run this. So I'm pretty sure that that would be some very nice thing. Oh, I got my whole ship's fit worth back. I'm pretty sure you would be able to run it in a Punisher. I've never run it in a Punisher, but I'm pretty sure you would be able to. So getting an ISK like that, you 17 million, that would be pretty cool. Okay, we've got Autothesian Lancers here. Jove Observatory, very mysterious structures right there. But there we go, Garista's Hunt. I am not too happy with this event because it seems like you have to spend a lot of time finding these capsules to be able to do it. And even then, if someone comes in there, like the Gamma guy, he had to waste a lot of time finding that key card, I can imagine, only to have me take the loot. And he even had to spend the key card. It's not like you can use it as many times as you want. So this seems like an event that will give players a lot of disappointment i can imagine especially like if i had here not got the loot i would have been really pissed off you know, what the heck spending 40 minutes to find a key card and then only to get it just sniped by someone else something that maybe could be like a benefit would be that if someone activates the acceleration gate with a key card then it's like 
you, no one else can warp in because I feel like that will be just it feels too frustrating like what the heck you do use uh, you, and you just happen to go to a Grista site that someone else is there and then you just you compete over the loot which you already spent so many times to find that key card it seems a bit unnecessary to me honest uh, I would have hoped that this would be a bit easier to uh, get it but maybe I was just unlucky with finding those crack capsules maybe they're a lot more common and I just happen to be unlucky here that maybe the RNG wasn't on my side uh, if you guys have a very easy time to find the capsules let me know in the description below if you just got any tips on how to find the capsules let me know as well either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe I'll catch you guys later